Well, hello everybody, and welcome today to this fantastic tutorial on Café Tran Espresso. This is a cat tool that I've discovered recently, and isn't actually very well known, but it's very good, and an added surprise is that it works on Linux. If you're a tech kind of person, there are very, very few cat tools that do this. The first one I've come across, so just in case you're one of the 1% of people worldwide who love Linux, this will be great for you. So I'm just going to run you through how to set up a project. Here we're just going to click on the source language for FR, French in this case, we're translating into English GB. So here we go. This is going to be a quick text on Homer Simpson. We click here on New to start a new project. Here's our text on the great Homer Simpson, which we're just going to select and open. This will give us a couple of options just involving where we want to actually save the project. You can see there's a couple of options as well for memory and glossary, which are quite nice and we'll come on to a bit later. But this just shows you that there is a project memory running with this project. Just in case you want to use in future, or you've got similar projects on the go. Click on finish here. So here our window comes up with our three sections. So we're just going to start translating by clicking on that first window. Quite self-explanatory and typing in the translation for Homer Simpson in English, which is surprisingly Homer Simpson. There we go. To confirm that segment, just hit control and enter. There we go, this little red star that comes up just next to it, which tells us that it's completed. So we're now going to go on to the next section, which is a little bit longer, so you'll just have to bear with me as I type. This translation is entirely for the purposes of this video. If you disagree, I'm sorry. This is just what I'm coming up with off the top of my head. You know, I might usually revise these kind of things, but here we go. Um, so as before, once we've typed in our translation in English, we're just going to hit Control and Enter to confirm that segment. So as soon as I can finish translating right to the end. There we go. And again, we'll have that red asterisk come up at the side, which just shows us that it's completed. Now we've got an interesting point. So obviously, if you use cat tools a lot, you'll find that the use of tags is very important. They're often given as kind of a little arrow or little mark in the text that you'll have to place in. Here with Cafe Train Espresso, they're a little bit different. You can see that you've got these subscript type numbers that surround a certain part of the text, and that's what the tags are here. So the question you'll be asking yourself is, well, how do I put them in? You obviously could, um, as you might do with other uh, types of programs, just copy and paste and overwrite. Here, there's quite a unique way to do this, to add a tag. So you're going to type the number, which in this case for the tag is obviously one, then hit escape and it will just turn red and turn into a tag. It's that simple. Honestly, first off, I thought this was a bit weird, but just after a couple of goes with this program, it becomes quite second nature. So I actually do like the way that uh, Cafe Trend handles this. Here we go. We're just going to do the second one. Uh, just again, typing two and hitting escape just to put in on a tag. So as we come to the end, we've now finished our translation. Brilliant. We're again going to hit control and enter just to confirm. We get the option to create the translated file, export current document. There we go. Um, and you can also see here uh, where our translated file in English is going to go. You can see at the top, the TMX has automatically been put in this folder, which is really nice if you're someone who's into collecting your translation memories. Um, something unique, actually, I think, for this program. So everything seems to be very, very well and logically set out, which is nice. There we go. We're just going to hit OK, export and view. And there it is. There's our text about Homer Simpson. Fantastic. So if this has been helpful for you, my face is just about to pop up. If you'd like to subscribe, just click subscribe right now um, and you'll get lots more translation related content and tutorials like this. Until then, see you next time. Stay safe and enjoy whatever you're doing. Bye now.